Looks like Nobby's had enough. Alright, All right, so we got Dragon playing Diona and Deshoot pulling out their King Puff. Diona, of course, got a massive buff, I would say, for 1v1 with the fact that Ruffles now spawns on your side. And so you get overall in 1v1s a lot more Ruffles potions. That's right. And the percentage of ones you're able to, grow, uh, to, to grab hugely increased. Okay, so this is the grand final, guys. Best of five. There is the potential of a second best of five if Deadshot takes this first best of five. But let's see if he can. All right, let's make sure we've got the stream set up correctly. Go. Okay. So Dragon playing a Demon Warrior deck. His Demon Warrior seems to be quite buried in his hand or in his deck, which is frustrating. You want to get that first Demon Warrior out as quickly as possible. First one's out at a minute, so that's a little frustrating for him. Grenadier coming out. Grenadier, of course, being a very strong two-mana clear for that Skeleton Horde. Yeah, we saw that earlier. That it kept trading so well. Bridge switch. Well, oh, interesting. He switched that with the Marine off the bridge. So both bridges for Deadshot now. Very nicely done. And Diona's trap was on the top bridge. Uh, Deathshoot may have seen that and switched it so that way Scotty wouldn't hit the trap. Okay, there we see the stint with the bridge grab from the Arcane, uh, sorry, the uh, Outlander tech. Demon Warrior stack two. Here it comes. Now the... Oh, he's using the Hypnotize here. Only on some cheap units, but... Uh, Saves his so units, save the holds. And keep the bridge. That's an expensive. Well, I don't know about that. That's expensive though, but uh, ultimately holding the bridge really helped in that situation. How are we looking with the predictions? Uh... Okay, so it looks like 50 50 right now. 50 50 with the predictions between Deathshot and Dragon. Uh, although most people did vote for Deadshot, but most people used. Channel points for Dragon. That makes any sense at all. Okay. Some face damage coming in here. Slight XP lead for Deadshot. Grabs the bridge with the stint again. Ruffles going for a hill. Unlikely to grab this one though. Oh, just gets it. The Demon Warrior, taunt, uh, not taunting, but aggro and everything, gets a heal. Maybe not the most valuable thing right now since uh, Dragon is behind on XP. We do. We are pretty close uh, to that Demon Warrior, though. We got mana coming in. Mana is huge when you're running a, a Demon Warrior deck, because each mana potion means Oof. that that's that much faster that you're going to get off that, that Demon Warrior. Yeah, grab that two mana. Those mana potions, you've got to be careful you're not topped off with your mana or you're just going to waste it. So you've got to pay attention to when that's going to be grabbed and make sure you you, know, you haven't got too much mana saved up. But here we go. XP well in Deadshot's favour, but of course that Demon Warrior is going to change everything. Stack 4 Demon Warrior coming soon. But uh, Deadshot's DPS plus the bridge switch could be a great way of dealing with it. He does have the Hypnotize as well to potentially try and help out. Okay, the stint taking both bridges there. That's the power of the stint. The latest changes. And again, the stint takes both bridges in return. Ruffles going for the heal again. And I feel like Dragon doesn't want the heals in this situation right now. The heal's not really what he needs. He's got a lot of HP. XP or mana would be more beneficial. But that's the random nature of Ruffles. You don't get to choose what you get. I don't think the Demon Warrior is going to be as valuable as it could be in this matchup because, like, the Skeleton Horde deals with it very well. Um, and that's basically the only heavy hitting card in Dragon's deck. It's a lot of bones. Great. It's a great Crystal Blast. Okay. He does have the Arcane Bolt. It's going to stun it, though, but he needs to get some DPS on it. The Taunt Totem is a little bit too far away, but the stun on the Scotty. Oh, it doesn't quite oh, get wow. it in time. Okay, this could be a little bit of face damage coming here. I say a little bit. That's a big hit. Okay. Small margins. Deadshot ahead on XP, but took a big hit on his face there. Bridge switch before the Demon Warrior. Not sure that was exactly as he wanted. Okay, remember, this is the grand final. Best of five. But, uh... Oh, that Demon Warrior. 
Deadshot, one step bridge to get the shield. There's the arcane crystal to clear everything there. Arcane bolt shuts it down. But you can see the dynamic of the game has changed immediately with that big demon warrior. Deadshot really on the back foot now. Struggling to have a bridge. Struggling to save face. Well, here he goes with the hypnotize. Oh, the hypnotize just misses the demon warrior though. This marines are going to be on it, but the demon warrior is not going to return fire. Oh, what's that? That's surely that's a mistake at the top. I feel like I'm not sure what happened there. Did Deadshot just throw? That was that was two misplays so close together. That is so unfortunate. What can Deadshot do with his Mordor? Alright, so Mordor versus Vlorin, this is going to be an interesting matchup, depending on what Dragon has as their, as their heavy card. Right, and that's just a regular blue golem, right? That is correct. No taunt, no reduction, but no statue to deal with. Okay, that's a nice... Pincer of Dread. Remember, Prince Pincer does go through. Shields now could be useful. Right. Let's have a look. Okay, there's too much at the top for the Flinger to deal with. Now, we do have a, a buffed Golem pushing at the bottom, but it is unsupported. Let's see what uh, Dragon uses to deal with it. He does have the Brothers, so here we go. They will Oof. knock it back. Okay. Lash Oof. coming out. Lash of our Moon. It's a 5 minus spell, so it is expensive, but... Got some value out of it there. And often time, you saw it there with the brothers. It's frustrating because you do a big hit on the first brother and then it knocks you back and you aggro on the second brother. So you can't just, if you've if you've done 50% damage, you can't just kill one of them in two hits. You end up hitting both of them once and it's a little bit frustrating. But here we go. Deadshot taking some face damage, but Colossus out on the field. The reses are going to be huge. If we look at Dragon's hand though, Shock Rock. Now, can Deadshot get the reses he wants? Viable comes in. That, um, not, that tombstone was put so far forward, it just asked for that. And the tombstone's going to take so much damage from that fireball, there's no way there's going to be a res from that tombstone. Okay, we do have two very strong pushes coming in on both sides, though. So, oh, with an ATG drone to support. This is huge, because brothers are not going to be able to do much against either of those sides. We have a wall that's kind of delaying the inevitable a little bit up top. Trying to get off a little bit of damage on that Colossus. Pincer coming out. Making sure that that next Colossus hit hits face. Oof, does hit face. That's nice. Okay. I feel like the that tombstone, although it got shut down, I feel like it wouldn't really have rezzed anything anyway. Because nothing died for ages. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, you know, you, you don't necessarily want to just spawn your tombstones straight away because they do degrade. And things like the Colossus, slow moving, they take ages to uh, to, get, to potentially die sometimes. And, and by that time, your tombstone yeah. has disappeared. Yeah, so we see Deshu cleaning out the smaller units out of his hands. Uh, definitely going to see... That tombstone, I feel like, was placed a little bit too early because they can force a Jade Flinger res here. Ooh, that's bad. That's frustrating. Little mistake, but... It's a big deal, because he could have had a, a Harbinger res there. The shoot threat out of GG, is that for which side? So yeah, who knows? Little mistake from Deadshot, we don't see them very often, but here comes Lash of Our Moon, 200 damage every time. Two hits, that's some good work. But uh, the Tombstone is charging up, but the Colossus goes down, and Deadshot really not able to get the reses that he wants right now. Like missing that harbinger res. It's huge. Okay. Right. There we go. He got a res. ATG drain. It's gonna support the blue golem. That's gonna be a nice push. Fireball comes in. Frustrating thing here is the ATG drain is just a little bit too fast, so it's gonna get aggroed and taken out. Stin grabs a bridge. XP's nicely in Deadshot's favour, which is not what you would necessarily expect from Mordar this stage of the game. So, I mean, I feel like Deadshot's going to be okay with how this is. He needs to not mess any more reses up, though. Because that he just loses all his uh, momentum at that point. Okay, we 
see Brothers coming out against the Colossus. Tombstone comes out. Harbinger comes out. I think this game's hugely important to the outcome overall. Deadshot needs to get his name on mm -hmm. the board. Especially with how that last game went. Here we go. This is the res that he wants. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Not quite a res yet, but here it comes. That's what he wants. Okay. okay. Now he's got. And that's hasted. Hasted Colossus are huge because that attack is so much faster, and they walk to the other side of the field, giving you time to build up uh, your hand the way that you need for that next big res. <laughs> Double Colossus out. This is very strong right now. Needs to be a little careful with the reses here because we we do have a, some small units, but just doesn't want to lose lose the momentum he has but uh and the issue is they go. can try and force the crossbow res but to do that they would have messed up the way that they were defending and lost even more units yep. this is huge two colossus out harbinger's already hitting face blue golems out sending out units to maybe try and take the tombstone but stopped with the next golem this this is it i think tombstone goes down but colossus is close next golem's close we've got another golem up and a, looks like the hasted harbinger as well at the top from the tombstone there's no way dragon can hold on here he's too far behind on xp and has no HP left. Deadshot's got this one in the bag, dare I say it. Harbinger is on face now. Here we go. 25 HP left. Oh, and he knows even though the, the lash does oh, very then... little face damage, it's enough. <laughs> it does 10% damage of its Ooh. 200 to face, but it was enough. Wow. All right, we see the MVP of all minion masters showing up. Ruffles on Deadshot's side. Okay, so we got Diona against Morelia. Let's see where this one ends up. It looks like we got a full accursed deck from Dragon. Against a Demon Warrior deck. Now, depending on the accursed deck and how it's played, it can do really well against the Demon Warrior deck. So Dragon's deck's going to be weaker until Accursed Ascension. Deadshot's deck's going to be weaker until Demon Warrior, stack 5. So they're both playing longer term decks. Bit of face damage coming in here. That wolf is pretty tanky. So a reminder, this is best of 5. One game all. Let me say Demon Warrior, stack two already. We saw that early in an earlier game the first Demon Warrior came out after a minute because it was buried in the deck, so Deadshot mm -hmm. didn't get punished by just random deck order this in this situation. Which can make a big difference in the, in the ultimate We outcome. do, however, see a good amount of mass on Dragon's side. They have both the four mana skeleton horde and the two mana skeleton crew, as well as the skeletons that they can pull from their book, so we're going to need to see a decent amount of wave clear uh, on Death Shoot's side, and most of what they have is just Grenadier and Shielded Crossbow Dudes, which, if used properly, can help do that, but I think they're going to struggle to to manage to get much damage on face once everything ticks over. Yeah, because of course the Demon Warrior is a very strong single target unit, but it doesn't attack that quickly, so if it comes up against a lot of little units, like, as Cosmic mentioned, all those little uh, skeletons, then it really does slow it down. But it does excel in that at just holding a bridge in that situation. Yeah, I think a lot of this is going to come down to uh, is the demon a how much value is the demon warrior going to get before a cursed ascension hits? Because I think once a cursed ascension hits, uh, this is going to be tilted in dragon's favor heavily, especially with the curse bear. Okay, so XP real, real close. A Cursed Ascension, that's 2 minutes and 39 seconds. Okay, we see Ruffles coming out. Ruffles can get the mana. Ooh, Ooh didn't denied. Quite get it. Okay, so we're going to see some dragons from Dragon. A Cursed Ascension hit at not even 3 minutes before the Demon Warrior's out. Ascension's already out, so that's huge. Demon Warrior going to get cursed there. Oh, not quite. Okay, stack four Demon Warrior. 
Next one's going to be big. Ruffles going for a heal. Not going to get it. That Ruffles... That uh, potion was very deep in enemy territory. Compared to where we normally see it. Okay. On a knife edge right now. One game all. Deadshot's is going to have to deal with the Cursed Ascension power. And the dragon. Dragon's going to have to deal with the big demon warrior. Who's going to deal with it better? Let's find out. Slight XP lead now for Dragon. He does have that extra power of the Cursed Ascension. The breath is and better. the skeletons from the breath! The skeletons from the breath. I keep trying to tell Cosmic that the breath got nerfed, but he's having none of it. It's it's not being... Because like what we saw up top, like that forced Deshu to play to capture the bridge, which means that you can then react to your opponent's mana, and being able to, to choose what unit to play is huge, rather than just playing unit to grab a bridge. This is true. This, especially with post ascension dealing damage faster, as Defogo was saying earlier, like it's it's a lot different now. It's not it doesn't do quite as much just blanket damage, so it's not like it's not as powerful as something like Ground Shaper uh, in terms of just massive wave clear ability. But in terms of like general usage, it's so much more valuable now. Like look at all these skeletons coming on the bottom. Like Deshot's yeah. gonna have a huge time just dealing with this non-stop mass. It's perk 3, dragon available. Okay, Deadshot wants to get the Demon Warrior on the dragon. Dragon wants to prevent that from happening. And he has. Stun, Grenadier backing up the Demon Warrior well. But there you can see the Demon Warrior just struggling against all the, the small units. Going to get a hit off on the dragon. But of course, dragon has more dragons to come. But here we go. Demon Warrior, Demon Warrior cursed, but it's on face. So this is... Uh... It's good face damage. It is going to die pretty quickly. Bridges are red during this whole time, so the dragon will be happy with that. The dragon down to 935 HP. That's um, that's quite the HP damage. Deadshot has traps from Diona to try to deal with this dragon. Now, he's not going to be trying to damage the dragon with that trap, but he's going to be trying to use the trap to keep it pointing away. It's not, an, it's not the... Um, it's not the Taunt Trap, but that doesn't matter because... Oh, this Demon Warrior is absolutely shredding that dragon at the top. Look at that. It's going to be dead. Needs some support. Thorns to... huge against all the skeletons that came out. Ruffles going for a heal as well, which is not really what he wants right now. Every little helps, I Ooh, guess. Great, but... great Taunting Trap there. Okay, here we go. Breath coming in. Remember, it doesn't turn the things it kills into skeletons anymore, but it does give you... Guaranteed An skeletons. automatic six skeletons yeah. uh, post ascension, which this and this is where we're going to see dragon just start stacking dragons uh, back to back. And one of the things is that uh, breath can help summon mass on the other end of the field. So we see right now. So this breath was mostly to just summon extra things for that demon warrior to hit. Yeah. Like he only would have got two skeletons on that end of the field. Uh, they're shot desperate uh, to get that Demon Warrior on the Dragon, but there's just too much stuff in the way. But guess what? He's got another Demon Warrior. These two Demon Warriors are going to go to town here. One of them's dead, but that he's going to take the Dragon with the next one, I think. No, Dragon survives. Got some reasonable HP left, so that's frustrating because there is quite a substantial push coming at the bottom. And the Dragon being in there makes it difficult to deal with. Now, he does have some Taunt Totems, but XP is very much in Dragon's favor right now. He's now doing face damage. A lot of face damage. Demon Warrior is out. But this is going to take a while to clear up. Demon Warrior is not going to be able to just crush through this. All the while, Dragon's ready for his next Dragon. There it is. Spawned defensively. But 400 Blast Monster just all over face right now. Frustratingly. Okay, 353 HP. And here we see the, the Demon Warrior just getting distracted. It's almost like you just want to scream at the Demon Warrior. Ignore the Skeletons! <laughs> That's huge. Breath coming in, finishing everything off, adding in extra skeletons on top of well, on a frenzy the Alpha Dragon. Here we go. Demon Warrior is going to start shredding Demon this. Warrior's coming out, locking on what it wants, but honestly, at this point, the dragons don't even matter for Dragon's deck. Like, just the sheer amount of skeletons coming in with the the breaths able to clear out the oh, Grenadier. Oh, Deadshot really spells himself. He knows he's over here. That's game.
as far as I understand. I mean, I could get it wrong, you know, just like my pronunciation of everything. <laughs> okay, so Deadshot's gone for Diona again. Sticking it looks with like the Deadshot's Demon Warrior. playing the exact same deck. Dragon switch into Milloween. Milloween Is this Brothers. the one with Rock Rivals? Brothers. Brothers, okay. So, Deathshoot has Thorns in their deck to deal with the Brothers if they can get some ranged DPS in there too. It's gonna be difficult though, it does set off their defensive uh, pop. Grenadier's gonna do work. They did split up those. The Grenadier's only DPS in one of them. Of course the Demon Warrior deck's gonna be light to start off with. Doesn't want to find himself too far behind. But he is struggling Ooh. to defend here. Those brothers just I getting value. Yeah, I feel like those Legionnaires could have been played a little bit better. That was three mana that was essentially just thrown away. Okay, so Demoria at stack 2 already. Just a rush to that as soon as possible, but he... He's got to defend against a heavy deck with a far less heavy deck. And that's... That's the key to a good Demoria deck, is if you can... You've got to get through that position where you are weak. Can he do so? Let's find out. Okay, so again, this is these are the pushes that he has to deal with. The brothers are split up, so the, the thorns not going to pull them down so well. But here we go. Bear trap grabbing the top one. Thorns mostly dealing with the bottom one. He, I mean, he kind of would have liked that Whirly Scrap to get involved, I think. But XP's now swayed into Dragon's favor. Remember, this is game point for Dragon. If he takes this... He takes the tournament. Dead shot the winner from the previous tournament. Defending champion, two games to one down. Ruffles going for a heal, but not necessarily what he needs right now. XP or mana would be much more useful in this case. Mana helping him cycle that demon warrior. Well, he's unsure what to do there. That, that's unlike Deadshot. Normally he knows exactly what he wants to do. You don't, you don't, don't see him dilly dally like that too much. So he just needs to get that big Demon Warrior out and still be in with a fighting chance in HP and XP. Oof, going for face there, Dragon. Interesting. Right, the brothers are together this time. They won't split like the previously, so the Thorns can do better work. Stun comes in. Grenadier doing some great work there. Grenadier... Is a very strong, cheap card. Mm -hmm. okay. Bottom gunning. push dealt with very expertly by, by that shot. Now Dragon started going face very early. We've seen the arcane missiles, fireball, and a shock rock all to face. Does that mean he feels like he can close the game out early? Does that mean he really, really is fearful of the Demon Warrior? Let's find out. Nice bridge yeah. grab at the top there with the collision. Yeah, once the Demon Warrior's up, brothers are no longer going to be a threat. And so it's essentially going to be... Uh, Dragon is going to have to spell down phase if they want to do anything to it. Ruffles grabbing XP there. Brothers are split, which against the Demon Warrior could be beneficial for Dragon. But here we see... Oh, okay. oh, the Demon Warrior's Arcane Ooh. bolted, but That's there's no why DPS. That's Stun Blast, because Stun Blast locks everything down oh, okay. while the Arcane Bolt is recharging. Right, that Demon Warrior's going to go down, but uh, Deadshot's already going to be cycling hard to his next one. So he does need to Ooh, deal with Rebel's this. Rebel's got mana, which is huge. It's going to give uh, a little bit of extra mana to defend this push with. Okay, And still... we can get health from Ruffles. Getting health from Ruffles... Oh, we're lagging a little bit. Hold tight, guys. We'll come back soon. Not sure. I need to investigate why this is happening, but uh, it happens every now and then. Fireball. Okay, we're back. 
So the Arcane Bolt takes out the Demon Warrior. Deadshot will already be cycling hard to his next one. So you see the big Demon Warrior does change everything. Now, Dragon does have a lot of ways of doing direct face damage. So Deadshot's going to be hoping to get some heals probably from... From, uh, from Ruffles. Next unit killed, we'll see Ruffles pop out again. Oh, there we go, Fireball to Fireball face. Fireball just straight to face. This is real frustrating. More face... Oh, no. It's a little bit more face damage there. Okay. Let's uh, keep an eye out on where Ruffles is going to be going. This potion's going to drop here soon. Okay, more face damage. Deadshot blocks most of it. Okay, where's Ruffles? Where are the potions? Fireball to face. This is getting real close. Deadshot's Ooh. at 85 HP. Shockrock, 45 HP. Deadshot. Ruffles going for Ruffles XP. Ruffles not going that's, for heal. That's it. That's got to be too much. Next Dragon's going to take the tournament around. here. Dragon takes the match by three games to one. He is our champion.